Um, I just want to say a little bit more about why I'm going into this love Portugal idea. And it connects beautifully. Why is that? Because I, was, I had this thought. You know, I do I do present quite a confusing picture. We've got learn about Portugal. We've got good morning Portugal. We've got the Portugal quiz. And all of it revolves really about my uh, love of Portugal. And that's what I think the Good Morning Portugal show is about, is people coming together to share their love of Portugal and loving their lives here in Portugal. Do you know what? I think um, that will morph at some point into in love, something else. love life. Well, that's what you do. That's why I'm mentioning it. Because I, I, as I saw it yesterday, the Barefoot Broadcast is about people loving their lives. And, and for me, just in this little, little bit in this niche, um, I'm here to help you love your life here in Portugal because, you know, we get we get pictures, don't we? People loving their lives in Portugal. That's what it's all about. We share. We talk about Portugal, we, how much we love it, what we're doing and how much we love doing those things. And of course, we're here for those people who've maybe, you know, like any love affair, it, it requires work. It's not full on love all the time, is it? And there are things that challenge us in life, whether it's in Portugal or in the, the wider um, global sense. And we're here for you in that sense as well. When you've, you know, when you, when you feel like you're, uh, you've fallen out of love a little bit, we're here to get you back on, or is it off the wagon? What, what I would say to that, I mean, I, I agree hundred percent with that. And what you're, you're saying often when we fall out of love with something, yeah, um, we think it's because we've moved to another country. Yeah. But actually, I always think it's um, we've fallen out of love with ourselves. Exactly. And, and rather than blame ourselves, we normally, you know, are projecting onto something. And, you know, what's the newest thing that's happened in your life? Yes. It could be that new relationship. It could be that new country. It could be that new tax system, whatever. Well said, There's always it. something that we can, you know, hang some kind of blame on. But yeah. often we've just fallen out of, you know, we've stopped listening to ourselves. We yeah. stopped really, you know tuning into what's important yeah and it's not like love went anywhere or portugal went anywhere no they're we still there drift, it's our focus drifted away yeah. didn't it so we're here for you um mm -hmm. so it is about loving portugal there are lots of people now uh, many more people um who are coming into the market oh, every nice. day <laughs> thank you tony for that what was that about the ginto or falling out of love with ourselves um that i think probably what you said what what she said <laughs> um there of course it is well said mrs m um yeah we're here for you in in that regard you know there are many you know we used to be a lot about how to help people move to portugal you know we know lots of great people who can help you do that uh, the Good Morning Portugal is here for you for the rest of your life here in Portugal, as long as I have breath in my body. Um, with, with a slight um, uh, top note of gin on it, it has to be said. <laughs> at the moment. Or coffee. <laughs> or coffee, like a teacher's staff room. Um, gin was first made in uh, Holland, and there's a Swiss gin, isn't there, called Geneva? I don't, or Geneva. <laughs> I'm not sure where that was going, but yes, we'll we'll keep working on that. I like it. Yeah, but seriously, um, we're here about loving life in Portugal. Um, and if you if you fall out of love a little bit, like Mrs. M saying, you know, like with love affairs, it's it's about doing the work, isn't it? It's it's not it's not going to just come to you. Uh, we're lucky to have a really great head start. You know, and a lot mm. of people is love at first sight, and people falling head over heels with love with love and life in Portugal. And then, of course, with any love affair, there are moments where you have your wobbles and second thoughts and power struggles and so on but i think this is an enduring this is a country of uh, enduring and deep connection mm -hmm. uh, i've certainly found that in the in just in the little time i've been here in the six years would you add anything to that mrs M? yeah i think um i would thank you for that um i actually think you know most people around the world are tackling themselves <laughs> yeah. um head on in their country of origin yes and so sometimes there's more contrast there for them because they can um you know, like they can easily see the things that they don't like. You know, lots of people live in a way where they just settle for where they're born and and, and where they're raised and whatnot. Yeah. But it, I think it's harder for expats because, um, you know, we might not be feeling great in ourselves. Yes. And we might be in a really, really beautiful environment. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's almost harder to identify what goes wrong when it goes wrong because yes. you're in a great place that yeah. you've chosen. Yeah. Um, so, All right. yeah, and if, you, if you have fallen out of love with life and Portugal oh. a little bit, here's a beautiful yeah. child with a kitten um, to, <laughs> just to cheer you 